Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, Mr. Kajit Sukhum, Program Coordinator and Advisor of ITU, Regional Office for Asia Pacific, Mr. Achis Nalayan, the Asia Pacific Network Information Center, Mr. Kree Aiken, the Vice President of TOT Academy, TOT Public Company Limited, Mr. Suthep Thanyasit, keynote speakers and all participants. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank all for coming today. My name is So Phun Sisuddi from TOT Academy. I am your Master of Ceremony today and will be with you throughout the training program of five days. It's indeed my pleasure to welcome all of you to ITU Asia Pacific Center of Excellence Program on the Internet and IPv6 Infrastructure Security for the Asia Pacific Legion. This training is jointly organized by the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, ITU Regional Office for Asia Pacific, and the Asia Pacific Network Information Center. Now allow me to inform you of today opening ceremony. There will be two welcoming address and opening address. The welcoming address will be delivered by Mr. Achis Nalayan, the program coordinator and advisor of ITU Regional Office for Asia Pacific, and Mr. Kree Aiken from the Asia Pacific Network Information Center. The opening address will be given by Mr. Kajit Sukhum, Assistant to Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand. Now, I would like to invite the program coordinator and advisor of ITU Regional Office for Asia Pacific, Mr. Achis Nalayan, to make the first welcoming address for you all. Mr. Achis, please. Thank you very much, Kun Sapon. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Mr. Kajit Sukum, uh, Assistant Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and uh, Society. Uh, Mr. Suthep, Vice President of the TOT Academy, where we are today. Uh, Mr. Clay Aiken from APNIC, External Managers. Dr. Philip Smith, Simon Boroy, and uh, all of you. A very warm welcome this morning. I will try to keep myself very short because we have to listen uh, from Mr. Sukum, our opening address, and I will be speaking a lot for the next five days. So a very, very warm welcome to you this morning. Today is a Thai holiday, especially for government. So all those who are here on a holiday, uh, I'm very, very sorry. And I hope we can compensate you with some more fun during the training. So on behalf of ITU, we are very, very grateful to the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, which is a center of excellence and has been a, a center of excellence of the ITU since 2007. And we have here with us uh, Kun Kalaya. She is the Director of International Affairs of the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, Thailand. And she is also the Chairman of the ITU Asia Pacific Center of Excellence Steering Committee. So she is not only chairing or looking after Thailand, but the entire Asia Pacific region right now as the Chair of the uh, COE. What we try to do here is we bring about problem-solving trainings. These trainings are designed to give you very specialized skills. So it's very hard to find these trainings outside, and that's why, because we don't want to duplicate with what is already happening outside, or that is already available uh, in your country, or uh, in the organization that you're serving. In this series, we are very, very grateful to APNIC. APNIC is our uh, strategic partner on all IPv6 related trainings and IPv6 related assistances that we do. And please convey our, uh, accept our uh, regards and convey it to the APNIC team. We are very thankful because uh, APNIC, as you know, if you want IP addresses, that is where you go, whether it's IPv4 or IPv6. Uh, we have been working together in these areas for, since 2011, about seven years, not only to, to give trainings, but also to provide special assistance to countries in deploying uh, IPv6. And uh, now we have also started working together on certs. I think uh, in Pacific was one of the first areas in Samoa where APNIC and ITU are cooperating in the areas of uh, cert. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Philip Smith. Those who have been here, you would know. Uh, Philip is 
one of the best experts that you have on IPv6, and I think I don't need to say much, you'll realize soon, once he, <laughs> once he gets started. Uh, our special thanks to TOT Academy, we always like to come here, and uh, TOT Academy, I've been visiting for, or organizing trainings here since um, about 12 years, 11 years. And every time, now we have reached a stage with Dr. Tharini and the entire team here that I don't even ask what are the arrangements. Right up to the group numbers and how things are allocated, everything is done so perfectly. And uh, please give a round of applause for TOT Academy and all those who have made it possible. Uh, with this, I would like to end my uh, brief remarks uh, again to welcoming all of you. If you didn't come, then there was no reason for us to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Narayan, from the ITU Asia Pacific <coughs> Network, from the ITU Regional Office for Asia Pacific. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Cree Aiken from the Asia Pacific Network Information Center to make the second welcoming speech for you all. Mr. Aiken, please. Good morning, everybody. Um, thanks, thanks to everyone for coming today and, and for this week. We're very excited um, at all the commitment and the great support that, that all 13 economies who are here today, as well as our partners, the ITU, um, the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, as well as TOT Academy have shown um, to IPv6. Uh, as the regional internet registry, APNIC is very committed to making sure that the logical layer of the internet is running as best it can. It's absolutely vital that every layer and every dimension of the internet is working together and developing to make sure we can really fully utilize digital technologies for economic growth, for society, and uh, empowerment. Um, so it's been a great uh, seven years, seven years, eight years, um, working, working with the team here at TOT and the ITU. Um, there's been real commitment. It's been an extremely fruitful relationship. And we're very excited that you guys can be a part of it um, and that we can work together. I'm here with my colleagues, Philip and Simon. Um, they have years of hands-on practical experience working on networks. Um, and as Ashish mentioned, um, the next five days are going to be very technical, very practical, and um, hopefully prepare you to immediately deploy IPv6 in your own networks when you get home. Um, so like Ashish, I'll be, I'll be speaking a fair bit in the coming days, so I'll close it off there. But we're really excited to have people from all the way from Tuvalu to Iran, um, up north in Mongolia, down to Australia, where um, Philip and I are based. Um, so we got the whole region here, and we're very excited to explore IPv6 and help you guys uh, deploy it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your touching speech, Mr. Aiken from the Asia Pacific Network Information Center. Okay, today it's privileged and great honor to have the President of the Assistant to Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, Mr. Kajit Sukhum. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Sukhum to give of us <clears throat> an opening address for you all. Assistant, permanent, Assistant to Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, please. Good morning. I'm trying to be uh, as digital as possible, so I'm trying to speak from uh, my iPad. So if there's any uh, a little struggle, so bear with me. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, on this auspicious day, the Royal Plowing Ceremony, which, as uh, Ashit mentioned, it's our holiday. Our means the government officials' holiday. So um, for those who are government officials and having to come here, congratulations. You will learn something of a very valuable lesson. First of all, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to Thailand uh, and the ITU Asia Pacific Center for Excellence. Thanks to the ITU, this center is a collaboration between the Ministry of Digital Economy for, Soci for so Social and Economy and the ITU as a center that has been provided knowledge and training for officials and experts in Asia and the Pacific region since 2007. 
Participants, since the beginning of internet era, we have allowed internet to be a part of our communication means. And as time goes by, more and more activities of our livelihood have become intertwined with this technology, be it in life or in commerce. We are now sending mails across the globe without having to pay for the postage or waiting for a response for too long. The day of waiting a week for a response has been a thing of a past. I can now see my family members' face as I'm speaking to them online in real time. We also buying, selling. <clears throat> we also buying, selling, and apparently paying for products and services around the world without any boundary, and sometimes without having to worry about border control measures. We have now developed a habit of transmitting all kinds of confidential information and non-confidential freely on internet. Lately, we are also seeing a new evolution in the monetary market, where a new kind of currency is being introduced, i.e. the cryptocurrency. So, as we can see, there is no longer the word national in this realm. A business transaction can be carried out by a company that is registered in one country, operating in another country, and transacting in a number of countries. Therefore, the internet as we know it has become a new social and marketplaces that more and more people in the world are using. Taking Thailand as an example, there are more than 90 million mobile phones for 66 million population, and more than 80% of these phones are the smartphones capable of using internet. And thus, the user are now demanding speed, accuracy, and coverage on the internet. But without knowing it, most of us want security for all the information, both personal and otherwise, to be provided in this place without knowing it. Thanks to the Internet Engineering Task Force, they began the development of the Internet Protocol Standard for all the users in the world, so that all netizens in the world can communicate with one another. Now we have reached the sixth version of this protocol. It has become internet standard since 2017. This brings us to this training session, the internet and the IPv6 infrastructure security, where I sincerely hope that we will be familiarized with this protocol and be able to utilize to its full potential. It also, I also see that this is a great opportunity for experts like yourself can exchange experience and know-how, as well as creating a network for future communication needs. Finally, I would like to thank ITU and many other contributors, namely the APNIC, the ISOC, and the TOT Academy, okay, for their support and assistance that make this training session possible. I hope that the Ministry of Digital Economy and the ITU will remain their allies for a very, very long time. <clears throat> Last but not least, I would like to sincerely thank Dr. Philip Smith, Mr. Clee Aitken, Mr. Simon Baroy, and Mr. Atab Siddiq for their valuable knowledge and their willingness to share them with us. On behalf of the MDES and the Royal Thai Government, I hope that you have a pleasant stay in Bangkok, and I would like to also invite all of you to take some time to experience the Thai culture, Thai food, and enjoy some of Bangkok uh, as much as you can. And also, I would also like to uh, thank you, Mr. Ashit, for his contribution to the creation of this training session 
And I hope that with that remark and my heartfelt gratitude to the ITU, I would like to open the session and wish you all the successful interaction and workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Assistant to Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, Mr. Kajit Sukhum. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the opening ceremony. I am thankful to our guests of honor and participants who attend this ceremony. Now it's time for the group photo session. Let's capture this moment together. Be a bit relaxed now. There will be more people joining us as we go on. Uh, but you will recognize that you are seated in groups, right? Group one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And do you know why these groups? Anybody?